Number 10, integrated concepts. Referring to the situation in the previous problem, letter A, what current is induced in the ring if its resistance is 0.01 ohms? So um, please take a look at number nine. I'm going to work off of that problem. So we calculated that the EMF in that problem, the induced EMF was a negative, but we're only concerned about, a negative just tells us direction. We're concerned about the magnitude, all right? So it's 3.04 times 10 to the minus three volts, all right? That's the EMF that was induced. Now we know EMF is basically, like I just mentioned, voltage, and we know that voltage is equal to current times resistance. So if I had to find the current, just simply divide out the resistance on both sides, and here's another version of Ohm's law. So in other words, what I can do is plug in that voltage at the top, 3.04 times 10 to the minus three, and then simply plug in the resistance at the bottom, 0.01, all right? And what we're going to find then is this works out to be then 3.04, times 10 to the minus one now, amps. So that's the current, all right? And then it says what average power is dissipated? So here we're going to talk about now uh, power, P is equal to IV, right? You can use that formula, you can use a whole bunch of formulas, all right? So the power is equal to the current here of 3.04 times 10 to the minus one, multiplied then by that EMF of 3.04, times 10 to the minus three. All right, and let's see what we get. So 3.04 times 10 to the minus one times 3.04 times 10 to the minus three. And 9.24, so 9.24 times 10 to the minus fourth. All right, and that is then going to be in terms of uh, watts, okay? Those are the, that's the unit for power. And then let us see uh, what magnetic field is induced, okay, at the center now uh, of the ring. So what we need to do is we got to go back to chapter 22 and use some of those formulas. So remember this particular formula that the magnetic field at the center of the current carrying loop will be equal to the permeability of free space multiplied by the current flowing through the loop divided by two multiplied by the radius of the loop, okay? So now uh, what we're going to do is we're basically just going to plug in the values. So the permeability of free space is 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th. The current here is what we just found of 3.04 times 10 to the minus 1st, all then divided by uh, 2 times the radius. Now the radius of this loop from the prior problem was 1.1 uh, centimeters. So it's going to be then times 10 to the minus 2 for meters. And all we got to do is then plug it on into that calculator. So this is going to be 4 pi times 10 to the minus 7th multiplied by 3.04 times 10 to the minus 1st divided them by parenthesis 2 times 1.1 times 10 to the minus 2. And we get a value here of about 1.74 or so times 10 to the minus 5th Tesla. Okay, that's that. And then letter D, it says, what is the direction of the induced magnetic field relative to the MRI's field? So relative to the MRI, so um, in terms of the concept, the, uh, the induced uh, direction of the induced magnetic field, yeah. So he was moving his hand right into a magnetic field, so the flux through the ring was increasing, and therefore the current will be created inside of the ring to counteract that increasing flux, which is caused by an increasing magnetic field which would now, the only way to do that would then be to create a magnetic field opposing it, all right? So just imagine, right, you have your ring, and all of a sudden there's like more field lines flowing, you know, through the ring. The only way to counteract an increasing then magnetic field through the ring is to produce a current in the blue ring that's going to oppose it and point the exact opposite direction. So what is the direction? of the induced magnetic field relative to the MRI's field, it's of opposite direction. You can also write like 180 degrees, something like that. All right, but that's that. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it. Please check out more of our problems and we will see you in the next video. Take care.